Uh-oh, I got a fresh husband. Haircut, dude. <laughs> oh no, it's so much shorter. Do you feel a pound lighter? Go mobile. <laughs> well, I like it. Thank you, I like it too. So professional. So professional. Somebody's getting new headshots. Yeah, for my I... job, <laughs> my J-O-B. <laughs> The other day I actually texted him because I was looking at our calendar and I saw that there was a photo shoot in the middle of next week and I was like, I'm pretty sure I put this on the calendar I, and I can't remember at all what this is because I, I don't have any photo shoots coming up. I don't know what's going on there. And he's like, oh, actually, yeah, that's that's for me. I'm getting new headshots like for his like business card and website and stuff like that. Actually. It's for you. Is it for your acting work that you do? It's for my... You checking yourself out acting. in the screen? It's theater. It's not just acting. It's okay. lifestyle. Okay. Okay. We've got a diva on our hands here. Diva with a new haircut. Watch out. Okay. I totally didn't get this vlog started right. It is Saturday. We've got a lot going on around the house. We've got a lot to talk about. A lot of Christmas decorations to finally finish inside and outside. Grant has been feverishly working on his masterpiece outside and basically working on it like every single day. I have no idea when it's actually going to be done. No complaints here. I feel like I have roped him into my Christmas obsession and I'm just loving every second of it. Honestly, it's coming together. It looks really good. But the first thing that I really want to do in this vlog is decorate this tree. I have been holding myself back like by a thread because I wanted to share it with you guys. It's a nice Christmassy thing to share and it's also a memory that I like to keep and I love watching it back and editing those moments, decorating the trees. And I always decorate this one by myself especially and we do the green one together because this is kind of like my girly bedroom tree. It is like a tall, all white, slim tree with a fuzzy tree skirt. And I have all of these kind of retro inspired, colorful ornaments. And then also my bow. If you watched the last vlog, you saw the making of this bow. It is my favorite one. I can't wait to put it on the tree. And I got a lesson on how to make Christmas bows from my mom because of course she is the queen of all things and she knows how to do everything and she is a pro at making Christmas bows if you missed that vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate this tree because it only takes like five minutes honestly but we have a lot to talk about in this vlog um if you watched the last one you know we are on the road to doing a ivf transfer finally i've been waiting for this moment for so long and i've been on the medication and honestly there's already been bumps in the road we've already had troubles like i'll explain everything it's kind of like a long story so i want to sit down and talk about everything um but i want to do this tree first i'm so excited to finally be doing it and it just takes a second so let's do it All right, we are done and I am absolutely loving how the new ornaments mix in with the ones I already have. I am just so happy with this tree. Oh wait, no, no, no. I completely forgot an absolutely essential element. Oh my gosh, hold on. This is an emergency. I almost completely forgot my absolute favorite part of this tree, the original group of Evelyn's. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost did that. I am so sorry, ladies. Okay, let's get these girls on the tree because this tree is nothing without them. Okay, now 
for real this time, the tree is complete. I'm so happy with how it looks. I love the bow up top. I kind of tried to mix in the tails and I just love this color so much. It's by far my favorite bow that I made last vlog. I'll show you how I'm working with the other bows that I made later on, but I love how the new ornaments are looking with the other ones. I don't even know how to explain this color scheme, but I do think it's working. I am just so, so happy. And look how cute the little Evelyns are prancing through the tree. And then over here on the dresser, I just set up a couple of items to kind of Christmas it up. This is the old bow I used to use as the tree topper. I just kind of stuffed it in here. I don't know if I like how that looks, but that's what we're doing for now. The bedroom is officially decorated for Christmas. Do you decorate your bedroom for Christmas? I feel like I have to, just because I love this tree so much. All right, time for a quick break. We got some Zoe's kitchen. All right, and now for my next bedroom upgrade, we got new sheets. We got the classic hardcore bundle from Brooklinen. And actually, this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Brooklinen. So thank you so much. They are my very first vlog sponsorship. I've never done this before. I'm very excited. Big thank you to them. And we love these sheets. And it was such an easy decision to work with them because we already sleep on their sheets every single night. The sheets on this bed right now are from Brooklinen. They are the first sheets that we ordered for our new house, for our new bed. We upgraded to a king size bed and we didn't have any sheets that actually fit the bed. So we went for Brooklinen and they create these bundles where you actually end up saving money. You get like 25% off rather than buying piece by piece by piece. And you get to choose from like 20 different colors and patterns. They make it so easy. And basically their brand just believes that everyone deserves to have beautiful luxury quality home essentials, but without the luxury markup. They just cut out the middleman and these sheets are actually affordable, but really great quality and also really comfortable. We love them and that's why we decided to go for the exact same set for our second set. I feel like this is a big life moment. We've been in this house for a year, so we've been sleeping on these sheets for a year now. We love them, we've had no problems with them. The quality is great, they're nice and breathable comfortable and this classic hardcore bundle is really good for hot sleepers because they're really nice and breathable and grant tends to sleep warm and we haven't had any issues with that so that's amazing because we did have an issue with that at our old house and our old bed with our old sheets and these have been a major major upgrade okay i feel like i'm kind of far away so if you click the link down below in the description they're having a huge sale and you can get 15 percent off all of their sheet sets, all of their bedding, but then also all of their other products. And they have a bunch of other stuff beyond just bedding. I just have to say after a year of sleeping on these sheets, loving them, washing them, changing them, doing all the things that you do, they are totally worth it. The quality is there. It's like luxury without the luxury price tag and they hold up. They're comfy, they're cozy, and I really do feel like these are an awesome price for what they are. You use your sheets every single day. You spend a third of your life sleeping. I mean, it is absolutely worth the money, but you're getting such a good deal with these. This bundle and then also the Lux Hardcore bundle, I think the price range is around like 200 to 250, depending on the size of your bed. And comparable sheet sets would be like 500 and up. So double the price. So I just feel like you're getting a great deal with these. We already had them and love them. I'm excited that we have another set now because we were just working with one set. So I'd always have to change them, wash them, and then put them back all in the same day, which is fine. But I feel like we're really moving up in the world having two <laughs> sheet sets. I know the, the bar is a little bit low, but I love these sheets. I'm so happy to have another set of them. And I would absolutely recommend them to you guys if you're looking for new bedding, if you're looking for something that's a really good quality and also a great price. And like I said earlier, shopping their site is super, super easy. They have tons of options and I think they have over 20 colors and patterns you can choose from. Uh, it's just so super easy to build your own bundle. I did all white, obviously. I just wanted them to be completely interchangeable with these. And I also have a little like cleaning hack or 
I don't know, an organization tip that I learned in the last week. And now that we have two sets of sheets, I'm gonna make that happen in my life. I'm very excited, I'm gonna share that with you. So let's switch these sheets out. Why do I feel so fancy right now? <laughs> I swear there is no better lighting than Christmas tree lighting. It's just like a soft, warm glow, very flattering. <laughs> anyway, obviously I got my new sheets on, could not resist flopping on the freshly made bed, but I have one quick cleaning tip that I wanna share with you guys because I learned it in the last week and it seems really obvious, so maybe you already do this, but it wasn't obvious to me and now that I have two sheet sets, I can actually do it. The idea is to not store your sheets in a far off place outside of the bedroom, like in some linen closet down the hall around the corner, but to store your extra sheet sets under the bed that they belong to. So it's not like, oh, it's it's bed making day, it's sheet changing day and you have to like rip them off and then like go find the sheets and maybe they're all getting mixed up with, with other bed sheets that are different sizes or patterns or colors or tones or brands or whatever. And it just makes it so, so easy to strip the bed and have the sheets right there on hand to put them on right away immediately. So I'm sure you could use like a basket or you could even just like put the sheets under the bed. I don't know if your dogs like to like go under the bed or whatever, Luna loves to go under the bed at random times. Sometimes we can't find her and that's where she is. But I decided to get a big under the bed storage tub to use just for this purpose, whoa. I could probably fit more stuff other than just the sheet set in this tub because it is really wide and long and this is the perfect thing to store under the bed. So that's what I'm gonna do with my new little tub and my new little sheets. All right, what's going on out here, dude? Busted. Just handling my business, working on what I can do. Right plugs that I got coming Monday. I don't know if that's gonna work either. Oh no, Grant has had a <laughs> plug a fiasco yeah, going for yeah, yeah, yeah. for a good while. Well, it's tough, I mean. It's, it's tough out there. It's tough out there. It's hard to find, it's hard to get everything wired, wired perfectly so there's not a million cords running everywhere. We, right now we have roughly two million cords. I got rid of one. He's been working on it though. It's looking good. Yeah, yeah I think it'll be okay. I think we can get it done to there just maybe one running across it. That would be a miracle. Miracle on 34th Street? Mm-hmm. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> and I gotta go play Santa and wrap up a few Prezzies. Oh, really? We got a lot of chaos going on on our surfaces at the moment. All right, so before we move on to decorating the big green tree, I'm so excited to get ornaments on this. So excited that obviously I've already put just a couple little ornaments here and there as I saw them. Uh, Grant actually picked this one out this year. Is that not the cutest thing? I love that he picked this one. Anyway, let's talk about the fate of my bows, the bows that I made in the last vlog. So this is the main one, the gigantic bow that I made for the banister. And honestly, I, I told you guys this on my story this week, whenever I put out the last vlog, that I already had one that I didn't really like <laughs> and this is the one that is my least favorite I like it I like the color combination I like the material combination but I think I like it for someone else's house somehow I made these three bows and they all came out so wildly different that they look like they belong in different houses with different Christmas decor. And I love this and I thought the black would go really, really well with the banister and it does, but I'm just not in love with it. And then this week while we were just like watching TV one night, I made this one. It's just very straightforward. It's definitely oversized, but not as huge as this one. 
and honestly I think I like that one better so I'm still kind of trying to decide what I want to do about this one I think I might take the black off add a middle from the plaid and then just go with that I'm not gonna mess with it right now but that's the idea okay let me show you the other one okay and as for the last big bow that I made the red and white one for the red and white tree I put it on almost immediately I could not wait to see how it would look and I really love the bow, I love the combination, but I do kind of feel like this ribbon was too wide for the tree because the tree is really, really slim. I think it's perfect for this spot. Um, and I kind of tried to tuck the ribbon back and kind of minimize it a little bit. So I think it's working, but it's definitely not perfect. And before I put this bow on top of the tree, I tried it on the banister and it looked really cute there. So I was really tempted to put this one on the banister too. Apparently I like all the bows I made on the banister better than where I'm actually putting them whatever all right time to get focused time to start decorating this tree I don't know if you can tell whenever we got back in town last weekend I noticed almost immediately when we got home that this section of the tree right here has gone dark on me and the twinkle lights are definitely saving the day and honestly since I've already put the twinkle lights on I'm just not gonna mess with it and hopefully I can just camouflage the problem with ornaments like I don't even care this tree has been so good to me I love this tree I love the branches I don't know if I really talked about this in detail on the vlog but it's like a cashmere tree cashmere juniper I can't remember the exact name I can put it in the description down below but every time I see a tree with these kind of kind of frayed branches I just love it. This is my favorite kind of tree. This tree has been wonderful for years and years, so I feel bad saying anything bad about it, but we are kind of not getting along right now, and I'm just gonna ignore the problem and decorate over it. All right, to get this started, I think the first thing we need to do before we get into the ornament boxes is to try to get this tree topper on. I've actually had this tree topper for a few years and I don't think I've ever used it. I actually finally plugged it in for the first time last night and it's so pretty. It's got lights throughout and I just had to bend down all these little spines. I really, really like it and I have no idea why I haven't been using it, but we're gonna make it happen this year. All right, I think we've encountered the reason why we didn't use it in the past. It's just kind of heavy and the top of the tree is really floppy. So we're just gonna fold it down even more and attach it to the harder center down here and hopefully that will work. Whoa, uh-oh. That's a crucial one. That's a crucial one. <laughs> Very, oh, oh wait, you back? this is one of those ones that's got a back, it's got a little, you can hit it from the back side. <gasps> here we are okay we did a little modification and we're back in business it's still a little flopsy but it's a whole lot better and i think it looks great there we go all right okay we're ready to decorate come all ye faithful joyful and triumphant come ye come It's very vintage. Rare, one of a kind. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation, sing all your citizens of heaven above. Glory to Okay, drum roll please. With maximum effort. The tree 
is done. It looks so pretty. We've got a lot of stuff on this tree and I love it. I'm so happy to see it finally decorated. And we have so many fun special ornaments. Some of them you guys have actually sent me. Uh, a lot of these fun ones are from Grant's childhood and he has some really, really cute ones, stuff that he's made. And then I have my little Evelyn's. I actually did a little feature on them in my story the other day. If you saw that, I kind of kept them in a little group because they're in a gang and I feel like they are stronger together. <laughs> Don't ask me why I decorate the way I do. When we were in Houston last weekend, we actually came up with an idea on how to change the tree next year, maybe like a different direction. But I really, really love this tree. I love all of the special ornaments and everything is so different. There's something to look at on every branch basically. But actually, while we're talking about it, this is my absolute favorite ornament from Grant's childhood collection. How cute is this? You don't understand how much I'm resisting the urge to go through every special little ornament and show you everything, but you get the picture. All right, now we're on a little rescue mission. As we were decorating the tree and unpacking the ornaments, we discovered this little guy that broke. It's just a cute little reindeer. I'm pretty sure we've all made a clothespin reindeer at some point in our lives. This this one was Grant's from preschool, it says 1989. So I really wanna save this guy, it is so cute and it'll be so easy to just like glue together. I'm gonna try using E6000, we might need to bust out the hot glue, but we're gonna try this first. All right, so we've just been relaxing after dinner for a while and I decided I am finally gonna make this dessert that I've wanted to make for, I don't know, a month, probably more than a month, but I've had all the ingredients for a while and I just keep running out of time every weekend and last weekend we weren't even in town. But we're just hanging out here tonight and I think, well, we were talking about watching a Christmas movie and we were talking about all the different options and then Grant told me that there is some show on HBO. It's about Heaven's Gate, the cult. I listened to a whole podcast about the Heaven's Gate cult and it is so interesting to me. Really anything about any cult is super, super interesting to me. And so even though I love Christmas so very much, <laughs> more than most things in life, I don't think I can resist watching a show about a cult. So I think that's probably what we're gonna watch, but I'm gonna get this dessert started and get it in the oven before we start it. And this is yet another dump cake. I know, not an attractive term, but it's basically the easiest kind of dessert you can ever make. And I've made two of them in the past on the vlog here in case you haven't seen them. And we've had really good luck with them so far. Both of the ones that I've made were really, really good. And this one is centered around Oreos. We are on the road to do our IVF transfer. So I feel like making a cookie based dump cake is the perfect thing to make right now. It's crazy easy. I found the recipe on Instagram. The same person has a TikTok. I think she just repurposes the TikToks for reels. So I'll link that down below if you wanna check out all of her videos because she's done a ton of these and they all look really, really good. Obviously, we decided on the cult show instead of Christmas. You're so sleepy. I love sleepy too. All right, it's ready. Dun -dun. <laughs> wow. Time for a taste test. The Oreo. 
pineapple mush. Mm. Huh? Wow. <laughs> awesome. mm, I'm still wondering. It's my favorite one so far. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. It's so ooey and gooey. It's like zero percent cake presentation. Yeah. So be aware of that. It's super chocolatey. This is awesome. <laughs> this is a really good reaction out of Graham. Mm. Typically a low reaction type person. This is big. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I like it, but I still am remembering back to the cherry one. The cherry one, yeah. I feel like the cherry one is still in my top spot, but at the same time, on day one, almost straight out of the oven, this has this been out for like 10 minutes, I feel like you can't judge it fully yet. So we'll have to try it again tomorrow for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it first here, Grant likes it. Oh, I'm getting some more. <laughs> he loves it. Oh no, he's going into the heavens. I'm ascending. <laughs> I'm going through that gate, dude. <laughs> so we're enjoying the show. We're gonna get back to the show. This show is bananas. <laughs> like these people are. Did, had you never heard anything about Heaven's Gate before? I remember watching the news and they were just like. Showing the video of the guy. No, I remember, I remember like when the news story broke. No, I know. Yeah. And showing the video of the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've watched a lot of stuff about Heaven's Gate. I've listened to that podcast like a year or two ago. Very good. I know a lot about it, but this has even more and it has a lot of video clips that of course I've never seen before, which is super interesting. It is bananas. That is the word for it. Absolutely bananas. And it's wild to me that people like go to one meeting and they're ready to like throw their lives away and like yeah. have their child go and live yeah. with someone else because they're not gonna be on earth for another month or two. So they gotta go. It's just crazy. Like why are there not people out there that are this charismatic? getting people to do good things. I don't know. These guys, this guy has the craziest eyes. Like <laughs> you look at this guy and it's just like, oh, you're, you're terrifying. And yeah. you know, but it's like, why do, why isn't there anybody out there who's like, oh, we have a cult of, uh, you know, we're taking care of homeless people or, you know, cleaning up the streets. Not as much fun as let's go leave earth on a UFO. Hello. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. Grant was ready to sign up like five minutes ago. Yeah, where's my ticket, dude? <laughs> okay, enough about this. We're gonna go back to watching. There's actually, did you say four episodes out or is that like the entire series? It's probably the entire series. I am so happy that we don't have to wait episode by episode. I hate doing that. Anyway, we're gonna finish dessert. Grant's gonna get more, he's already done. And we're gonna watch more show. No one knows how many others are following the couple. No one Well, hello. Are you so comfy? Oh. Did you have a good night's sleep? And now you're gonna have a good day sleep? All right, it is Sunday morning and I just wanted to close out the vlog. I meant to do it last night, but I completely forgot. We were watching that show. We watched like an episode and a half, the show about Heaven's Gate. It is very, very interesting. I will warn you, it is sad, but I mean, if you know anything about Heaven's Gate, you already know it's gonna be sad. I would recommend it if you are interested in cults, we all know that I definitely am, but I completely forgot to close out the vlog. Going into this weekend, I knew I wanted to do a two-part vlog. Usually, I don't know I'm gonna do a two-part vlog until the editing process, and I never have an ending for part one, so I wanted to actually end this one for once. Grant got up early this morning, and he went to go play golf, and Luna and I have just been in here enjoying these comfy, comfy sheets, catching up on Vlogmas, and drinking some coffee. I really need to get going for the day, but I've just been hanging out being super comfy in bed. I do wanna thank Brooklyn and again for sponsoring this vlog and remind you that you can get 15% off if you use the link in the description. Right now, I need to tear myself out of this bed and get busy. I've got a lot to do today, a lot I wanna get done. And I am gonna be vlogging today, so there will be another vlog coming. And I will, I promise, I will talk about the IVF update, the transfer update, because it's been rough. And I didn't get to it yesterday because I was just, wanting to be happy and not really think about it and it does kind of bum me out so i will i will get to it in the next vlog i promise anyway thanks i love you bye